especially with COVID, what's happened is you have a lot of third-party uh, contractors and partners accessing your sandboxes. And in the past, it was okay because there were not that many privacy laws. But now a lot of privacy laws require that the access to personal information is maintained within the borders of a country. And often with offsourcing and outsourcing arrangements, that may not happen. So that's the reason that is coming up more and more. In the past, customers would do like an NDA with a company and that worked. But now that's just not enough. You also do run a material risk of data breach. Someone accidentally or deliberately exported out data. You can put stuff like shield for data exfiltration, but it's still a post-mortem. Preventatively, you just want that data to be masked. And we do that all for our customers where they, they're masking hundreds of millions of records with us just to make sure that their partners have access to mass data and there's no compliance or security risk. One of the interesting use case uh, is that this conversation tends to happen for third parties. And we forget that we have the same challenge with ex-employees or just some rogue employee or a disgruntled one. They have access to data. So if you have an ex-employee and they left, and if it was using a username password type thing, they may still have access unless you went in manually and inactivated them. And this is a huge challenge if you're a large company, you have multiple orgs. I have five production orgs and I have three, four sandboxes each. That's 15, 20 sandboxes. And over the years, someone who was doing testing for me may have been in multiple orgs. So I've spoken to customers who express this concern, particularly because uh, their sandboxes are just using username and password. So that person may be able to get in later on also. The second part of this is if you're a large company, if you have 10, 15, 20, 30,000 users in an org, I mean, guess what? People who have access to this, whether they're your employees, ex-employees, third-party partners, not only do they have access to that employee information in your full and partial copy sandbox, but they also have access to this information in dev only sandboxes, which most companies will literally give those out like candies on Halloween. Uh, but you run the risk that these people now can just pull out a list of your 20, 30,000 employee, their email address, their mobile phone numbers and things like that.